I use my iPad for seemingly everything these days, and probably because it really has everything in terms of design tools, organizational tools, and productivity apps. And while having an iPad is certainly not mandatory to have and is certainly a luxury to have, it really has made a difference for me in terms of my versatility as a designer. So today I'll be sharing some of my favorite ways that I like to use the iPad for everything in my life from work to content creation here on YouTube. Now before we jump into the iPad, if you're new to the channel, my name is Carter and here we talk about all things landscape architecture and urban design. So if you have an interest in this great field or if you just want to improve your quality as a designer or learn more about the field of design, be sure to check out my channel for more. Now the number one thing I use my iPad for is a drawing or sketching replacement tool. Nowadays there are countless apps you can use that can help you draw, trace, or sketch and create ideas from within your iPad. But the app I like using the most and the one I use most often is an app called Morfolio Trace. Now there's a few reasons why I really like using this app, but the first and most important reason why is it's an app made by architects for architects so it feels really nice to use and it feels very streamlined for a designer's process. First of all, they have a layering system which makes it really natural and feel like if you were drawing with trace paper. They also have scale bars, rulers, measuring tools, stencils, all of those things that you typically find at your desk built into the iPad, which has really become why I prefer to draw and sketch on an iPad now because of how streamlined the process is for me and how streamlined it can be when using an app like this. Because you now have the opportunity to use a lot of different tools like templates, stencils, rulers, and layers, it makes the process of sketching a lot faster. Because when you use something like a stencil, you're able to replicate something you'd have to draw over and over again in different places through different iterations a lot, which can save you a ton of time if you already have something put together that you can just stamp on in places. Because as you know, especially in the early phases of a design, it can be really important for you to get many different design iterations out so that way you can meet with clients or meet internally to generate and talk about your different ideas. So if you're able to save a ton of time by being able to draw a bunch of different things very quickly and save all that time you would spend putting things together like building outlines or drawing trees or things of that nature, if it's already set up and you can just stamp them in places, you have more time to actually spend on creating different iterations or taking a look more in-depthly at something that you wanted to explore more and normally wouldn't have time to. So I know for me, the process of sketching can be a little bit tiresome in the early phases when you have to constantly be redrawing all of these things. So the great part is it's similar to like Photoshop or InDesign where you have layers that are set up. And once those layers are there, you can then do whatever you want from there. So I really like drawing in that way and it makes it a lot more interesting to draw with. The other really big thing about a digital tablet or an iPad is that you have the undo or redo feature. This is big for me personally because I struggle with coming up with the right idea or drawing the right thing in the first place. So overall, my drawings will be much cleaner and I'll have much more confidence in drawing things knowing that I can manipulate or change them afterwards, which of course can save you some time, but also can help your final presentation of those ideas look a little bit cleaner and a little bit finer, which can be a big deal because sometimes half of how that project or proposal is received is how it's presented. So if it's not presented in the prettiest way, it may not be interpreted as you may have wanted to or how you interpreted it in your head. Now, another great reason to pick up an iPad is the ability to draw and to draw from scale anywhere. Nowadays, everyone needs to be everywhere all at once. So having an opportunity to sketch or draw from anywhere is going to be a big deal for us and especially moving forward in the future. Because as some of you may know, a lot of your time sometimes is traveling to a site or going to a meeting or somewhere that's not at your desk. And there's a lot of downtime between those times. And if you have that time to spend on drawing while say you're commuting, it can really save you a lot of time in the long run. Because normally you might have a site meeting and you might take public transit there. And in total, you might lose about two hours out of your day. The unfortunate reality is that that work is not gonna disappear if you're there the entire day. You'll have to do it at some point. So 
By having the opportunity to do those drawings while you're traveling or commuting, you're able to go home at the end of the day and still be done and not have to go back to your desk after a long day on the site or with a client wherever you may be and have to do additional work on top of the eight hours you just spent to keep the ball rolling. So I know for me, having an iPad is great for this and I use it all the time when I'm commuting or if I'm traveling between places, it's a great way to either mark up PDFs that you're working on red lines or just explore some design options while you're waiting. Now on another note of traveling, another big reason I use my iPad is for site visits or for meeting with clients. As some of you may know, when you're walking through the site or meeting with clients or site supers, you often need to have all of your drawings on you, a bunch of other tools, and it can be really challenging to manage all of those things at once, take notes at the same time, and really just make sure you have everything you need when you get there. But when I have my iPad, I have all of those things preloaded and predetermined. So that way, when I do have a meeting, they're all in kind of one place. It might be in different tabs, but they're all really easily accessible. And of course, I can hold it all in my one hand as opposed to having a big bag full of tons of stuff, which is great because you could be simultaneously taking field notes while looking at your punch list of existing items that need to get done. You could be talking with clients. There's tons of things that you can do all from within your iPad and you can simultaneously multitask while talking or meeting or looking at things. Because I know in my example, there have been some circumstances where maybe you didn't bring everything that you needed to or maybe a question was brought up and you don't have an answer to it because you really need to go back and look at the drawings, come back to an answer and that can delay the schedule of a site visit. And if you have all of that stuff on hand on your iPad, you may not have the answer right away, but you can talk through it right there on the spot and it'll really go a long way for the client or for the site supers. Now in addition, your iPad also is a pretty damn good camera and you can use it for not only taking pictures but you can import it into drawing softwares and draw over them and take notes directly over them which can save you a ton of time in the post site visit field report and things like that because you're already doing it while you're there. And not to mention that I've used the iPad to take a picture and draw over something to either explain something to a contractor who needs an answer or to a client to further demonstrate what this area could look like by doing a quick sketch over a picture. It can really help you look a little bit more professional and sophisticated and can get you some extra points with the client or with the supers because oftentimes they needed that answer yesterday, especially with contractors. If they come to you with a question and you have to go back answer the question later, you're already really derailing them. Whereas if you can just take a picture and draw over and say, hey, this is what this is supposed to look like, this will go a long way with your contractors. Now, another big thing I use my iPad for is to mark up PDFs with. This makes it really easy to not only do your markups over, but it also saves you a ton of time in having to plot out and print tons of different sets and keep track of where each set lives and which set is being redlined or picked up on. It's all really nice place to have it in one spot. For me, it's essentially like having Bluebeam all within that one iPad space and just doing it by hand. Again, I like to use Morfolio Trace for this because they make it really easy to import everything at the right size and at the right scale. And once they're all imported, of course, you're able to check things with the scale bar and you're able to make sure all these things are true to scale or everything you're marking up will be dimensional, which is really important when you're doing some of these red lines for people. And in addition, when you export it, everything is preserved. It's very dimensionally accurate. And everything you did beforehand when you imported it will get exported in the exact same way. Now, the last reason I really like using an iPad is for its productivity and organizational apps that are built into the iPad. There are, again, tons of apps for this. You can search and figure out which one is best for you, but I personally really like using an app called Notion. And there's a few reasons why I really like using Notion, but the first one is that I can separate all of the different aspects of my life all in one place and still be able to check up on all of those different things without having to leave the app at all. So I have it set up so I have different spaces for work, my content creation, and then my personal life which is great because they're all separate and have their different entities. But when I need to, I can compare them all together at the same time. But in terms of what Notion offers for me is it has a lot of really easy templates to choose from. I can choose anything from to-do lists, agendas, calendars, 
goals, tasks, anything like that and more. And they're all built in. All I have to do is import them in, import my own information, and I can easily keep track of it. And it makes it really easy for me to stay organized with all the different things that are going on in my life. And one of the things I really like about it is it keeps an active log of what you've done in the past and what you're supposed to be doing in the future. So there's really good goal oriented things built in within the app, as well as some great habit trackers that can really help make you be a little bit more consistent when trying to build some habits that you're interested in. And being able to add all of my meetings from Outlook, from work, or my own personal meetings, or major events that are going on for me or deadlines, to have it all built in and then displaying in my weekly to-do list or my weekly agenda or on my calendar to see at any time is really effective for me to keep track of what's going on. So it's a really fantastic app and it's great if you have your own business too because you can upload all of your key information for marketing, branding, invoices, all of those things can all live in one place and you can share it out to others if need be. So in summary, it's the versatility about the iPad which makes it so influential for my life and so great on a day-to-day -day basis to use. So if you're thinking about getting an iPad, I really couldn't recommend it more. I've had mine for about three years now and it seems to be getting more optimized for designers and for people like us in mind, which is really great and it's great to see. And I think the future of an iPad within our field will continue to grow in use over time. But yeah, that's typically how I use my iPad as a landscape architect and content creator. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to cover any of these apps or things about the iPad more in depthly. And of course, if you like this video and found this video helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It helps me know that this content was valuable to you and it helps push this content out to others who need to see it as well. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel and are interested in learning more about landscape architecture and urban design, Design, then be sure to subscribe and check out the channel for more content. But that's all for me today. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.